Hello everyone, it's Mikhail. So today I'm gonna share with you my first C4DR25 assets, which I create use capsules and a bit scene notes. So I'm gonna share it for free for all Cinema 4D users who follow me and who wants to dive into capsules, scene notes, etc. So let's dive into Cinema 4D and I show you a quick overview of my asset. So guys, we're inside Cinema 4D and as you see, uh, I prepared beforehand my first scene notes uh, asset actually not scene notes it's just a capsule which i create by my own one use some notes manipulations uh, it's not a full tutorial just uh, overview of my assets uh, i will i will share it for free in order to share with my my patrons with my subscri subscribers uh, via youtube and with all c4d guys who wants to dive into a new node system. So as you see, I use just a simple, uh, just a simple model which I grab uh, from Content Browser inside Cinema 4D. And as you see, just just a simple model, yeah, here. So uh, after I place my noise pattern as a capsule under this head model, we immediately get this result, yeah. As you see, we get an animated noise over the surface, yeah. Of course, you can create it use volume builders, but uh, take a look. Uh, it's pretty good uh, topology, you know. We have, yeah, we have some uh, imperfections here. It's not perfect asset, but I think for daily renders or for some uh, abstract uh, shells, you can use it. Uh, let's check it. No, it looks like a plugin, but it's not a plugin, it's just asset. We can control noise threshold, for example, you know, yeah. We can control type of noise, control iterations. Well, by default, it looks like that. We subdivide, subdivide and subdivide and get more proper result, you know, especially when we see animation with noise, uh, higher numbers. I think free it's enough iterations provide more smoother much smoother uh, noise animation yeah let's revert by one just a tutorial yeah we can change seat of this noise you know just playing around with it we can change scale of noise for example like this or like this you know as you see it's pretty good topology yeah so what next uh, we also can increase the speed, for example, if we make it one, it's very fast, it's not real-time preview, you know, uh, or really small, you know, uh, or maybe without any animations. Uh, so, uh, what next? Also, we have uh, mesh options. It's, uh, you know, it's a pretty good option. We can, uh, as it based on selection of geometry, of noise selection of geometry, we can choose what kind of selection we will uh, see in the viewport. For example, uh, currently it's uh, zero one. We can choose the opposite effect, you know, got something like that, yeah. And we can choose both when we got uh, all, uh, when we got all uh, uh, mesh, all noises kind of liquid animation yeah for me it's pretty promising uh, and uh, it's pretty good because uh, you just want to create for example sphere you know uh, let's grab from my head not actually from my head <laughs> from my model head uh, this sphere for example place it here place it under sphere and immediately get this result maybe increase count of segments for sphere yeah uh, maybe go to the noise increase iterations as well and as you see we can apply this effect and create a uh, liquid style animation over the sphere just an asset you know uh, as uh, still uh, scene notes and the capsule still technical preview it's uh, has a lot of limitation you know but anyway take a look looks promising but for example let's continue with sphere yeah and what we can control it unfortunately uh, as you see, I prepared beforehand setup. If we place it under the uh, fracture, yeah, we can uh, freeze these colors. It's dynamically changed. That because we um, this uh, this dynamically changed structures and dynamically changed ID. 
Uh, I'm still thinking about how to solve this problem or maybe next iteration, you know. Uh, but uh, currently it's not working uh, pretty well if you want to save this yellow color only here and uh, won't change in the future, yeah? But anyway, anyway, I show you other one uh, method how to fix this problem. For example, we can get to, as you see, we can get to selection currently in both. Also, we have a curator mode when it creates something like relief, you know. Uh, pretty good as well, you know. So let's select for now 0 0.1, sorry, 0 0.1. We create this one, yeah. Also, we can grab this sphere, for example, delete this noise and a bit adjust. Uh, not a segment, sorry, scale, and we got this separately shell and uh, under the shell object. But anyway, if we choose, for example, selection 0, 1, yeah, we can grab it again and change by 0, 2. So we separate these two noises. I can apply separate materials, yeah, which will uh, works pretty well. So what next? Uh, one more thing, guys. Uh, let's go to the original sphere, change it from 0 0.1, maybe 0 0.1 is OK. Uh, also, for fast preview, we can deactivate shell, you know, and we got this result. It's uh, without any thickness, you know, just a simple, simple mode. Maybe it's pretty good if you want to place this sphere or other object inside volume builder, you know. Uh, one more thing, guys, let's uh, revert to, we can control thickness, currently it's just uh, 2, let's make it 40, it's a pretty big thickness as you see, yeah, maybe 20, yeah, and we can control as well a variation of thickness, let's make it by 100, and as you see, we create this one effect. For me, it's uh, interesting, maybe some abstract animation uh, for Instagram or something, you know, maybe for R&D when you, before you diving into solvers, for example, to create it in Houdini or X particles, you know. So what next? Uh, smoothing. Smoothing iteration, it's uh, oh, what kind of smooth you get, you know. So if you see, if you can see, uh, I can play around with smoothing iteration. It works like a smoothing deformer. If I decrease by zero, you see it's uh, produced not so uh, produces not so good result. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, uh, I think it's a good thing to control your shell to control your noises so let's dive into the capsules and see a bit this nerdy stuff i don't have a plan to talking about it because it's uh, uh it takes a lot of time let's open it uh let's a bit organize our scene and take a look first look it's not so complicated yeah it's uh, just uh, we have a, a geometry input this our geometry we have a geometry input i got some subdivisions and i create this uh, node group uh, to control my selection. If we dive into, well, there is, uh, there are some additional nodes. You can, uh, for example, you can uh, uh, change it, you can manipulate it, add some new features, etc. Because it's just an asset, you know. Uh, here I switch between between one selection, second selection. It's it's this section, you know. You can create on one as well. And here I control the speed. I'm just create a time node connected to... I can connect it directly to the time on my noise. Uh, let me see. Directly to the time, yeah? If I, for example, ungroup this node. Uh, let me ungroup this node. We see a lot of uh, nodes <laughs> again, yeah? So let's revert. Sorry, oh, I'm not sure if I can reverse. Okay, so I connected directly to the time, but it's very fast and I just uh, multiply uh, this value to uh, this value to this value and uh, get a uh, proper result. Just to multiply on, let me check, guys, something wrong. Let me revert, please. Revert to save project, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's open again. It takes the time. Okay, let's 
decrease count of uh, iterations yeah go to the bottom yeah so i multiply time to uh let me check sorry guys to other value in order to make my speed uh not so fast because i propagate this port in order to get this ui you know uh, we can control speed if you multiply uh, we can control speed by this parameter you know i think it's clear more or less because it's not so uh <laughs> arty stuff it's more nerdy stuff that's why i create an asset and i can I want to continue with it yeah it's still technical preview and we have a lot of limitations for example i still thinking about how to transfer uv on this object because currently it's not a uv object and uh it's uh, hard to manipulate it you know oh what what else uh you can control as i uh, as i said already noise you know we can create kind of or kind of or maybe something like that choose the noise type you know uh, for example something like that or go to the change to fbm you know um, change from 0 1 to 0 2 and get this result you know really nice looks like a melting effect yeah yeah if you want to manipulate of course you can create a second one model yeah let's place it here let's place it here go here and choose zero one yeah and maybe a bit uh, readjust uh, noise maybe 20 i don't know if it works uh, maybe 10 let me check please not sure uh five yeah we can increase for example shell for first one you know but anyway one more thing if you dive into noise pattern i don't know how call it uh leave a comment and suggest some how i can call it you know so uh if you dive into nodes again we also could be create some clones for example well, let's press c and find clone you know yeah and we can find this clone geometry node uh, connected to geometry connected here nothing much happened but because we should a bit readjust our node inside let's increase count of clones for example for free and let's decrease count of scale for example kind of and we immediately get this result as you see we get clone inside you know it's pretty good you can placed it for example inside volume builder or sorry inside uh, or fracture object and colorize it uh, i think it's a uh, really nice technique you know so guys i think that's all for this not a tutorial for this overview of my assets uh this assets uh, will available on my patreon for free make sure if you check it you know uh and uh, what else i don't know and um, also um, uh, share your experiments with it tag me if you're gonna to share your instagram and uh, i think that's all uh, see you on next tutorial bye bye